Hey, what's up? It's Phoenix, and I'm super stoked because I'm going to talk about my new instrument, my seven string Schecter guitar. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. I'm super stoked because I recently bought a seven string guitar, and it was a Schecter model. Schecter guitars tend to sound heavier in general, and not only that, but a lot of bands that I listen to in metal music use seven or eight string guitars. So I decided that I was going to buy a seven string guitar to continue to develop my own metal aesthetic and to be able to explore metal music further. There are a lot of bands that I listen to that use seven string guitars and a lot of which is metal musicians to be able to get that heavier sound and this would include bands like Knocked Loose, Whitechapel, Muse, Animals as Leaders, Meshuga, Dream Theater and a variety of other bands that I have enjoyed listening to throughout the years and I definitely wanted to continue to tap into my metal aesthetic and so that was why I decided to get this seven string guitar. Now it seems as though there are many ways that you can play music. There are other guitars with more strings, so there isn't even just the seven string guitar, but you can also get an eight string guitar, which is also really good for metal. Meshuga often plays and utilizes an eight string guitar. And you can also get a nine string guitar, which I've seen in the music of Deftones, where in their most recent album, Ohms, they were able to play a 9-string guitar, and you can also get a 12-string acoustic guitar. So it is really remarkable what musicians are able to do with guitars with more strings, and it is really remarkable to see that play out in music. But I'm very interested in the metal aesthetic, and so you might be wondering how the instruments work as a seven string. As you may know, the first string is, a, is the first string on a six string guitar is the E string. The next one is the A string. Then the D string. G string. B string and E string. And it is super remarkable to be able to play with a six string instrument, but the added element of having a seven string guitar is you get the B string. Now it's actually tuned to A, so let's go ahead and tune it down a little bit to back to the B string which is how it is which is a uh, standard tuning for it's standard tuning for a seven string guitar so let's get this tuned down to B so I can show you some tricks I had the guitar set at A for the, the seventh string because I was playing knock loose and they use alternate tunings, which is complicated in and of itself. But this is the sound of the B string, the low B string. And this provides a huge advantage whenever you're playing it, when you're playing metal music, because not only is it a lower string, but there is more that you can do with it uh, in terms of either playing playing your solos or adding uh, flourishes with palm muting and the string with other strings on uh, the with the other strings or even for just making power chords and so I want to show you a little bit about what it sounds like so yeah let's dive right in so you can start with what has been described as the lowest tone and chord that you can get on the guitar
So I'll admit, it's not really music yet, but it's more just experimenting with the sounds and the qualities that you can get from this guitar. But as you can tell, it's definitely a very lower sound. And the Schecter, and my, which is already heavier as an instrument in general, and then the distortion, you can definitely do a lot of interesting things. Now, as I said, I wanted to up my game, which is why I decided that I was going to uh, buy this guitar, because I really wanted to learn more about metal music and really dive right in to a lot of the qualities that you find in metal music today. And like I said, there are a lot of, there are definitely a lot of things that I would like to play. And so, yeah, so, but I'm not just all talk. I'm definitely going to be playing a lot to be able to discover these techniques, and I'm super stoked. I hope that you enjoyed this video that I made on the seventh string, and definitely keep a lookout for further videos. But I would just encourage you, if you're ever curious about something, to definitely go for it, because even if it is a difficult thing and it's a bit of a learning curve, I'll admit that I've gotten a little bit overwhelmed with the guitar myself, with the seventh string already, it is still something that I'm super excited to explore because I know that there's a lot more that I can do with this instrument and with metal music and even though it is definitely a learning curve I'm very excited to see what I'm able to do so yeah I'm Phoenix thank you for watching and I will see you next time